Hey, everybody. <sighs> this is Ebony. Um, hope all is well with you guys. Uh, this is my first video of the year, and I know I'm slacking big time. I um, work at a hospital. I don't know if anyone knows that. And I um, have plenty of people that I consider friends or associates. And um, last Friday... There was a code called, and if those of you out there who don't know what a code is, it's like when someone passes out or is having a heart attack or something. It all depends on like what your universal sign, where you guys are, what your code is. But, um... A friend of mine was the one who coded, and um, she spent the week and in the hospital, and she um, she got out of the hospital on Sunday, I believe she said. Um, she did come to work yesterday, and she came back today. Um. And talking to her today, it was really sad, and it made me sit back and reevaluate my own medical needs and issues that I have going on within myself. Um, she found out that she had a, a blood clot in her leg and she found out on Tuesday that she was diagnosed with breast cancer <laughs> really seriously didn't know what to say to her The only thing I could do is tell her that I'm praying for her and I can pray for her family, but the crazy thing to me is she just started the job that she's in and she's saying that um, because she's new, they won't let her have FMLA, which is the Family Medical Leave Act, and I've never heard of them saying that um, since you haven't been here for a year and haven't put a hundred and, I mean, I'm sorry, excuse me, 500 and some change in, you can't, your job is not protected. Like, I've never heard of such. When I seen her today, it broke my heart. And I'm sitting here thinking about, like, you know, I got off work and I wanted to go to the gym. And I went to PT this morning and PT kicked my ass. And um, PT was like, you know, they did some extra stuff. So it was like going to the gym this morning. And I did a lot of different things that I don't normally do there. So it was like a real workout. And I wanted to go again. But, like, right now my back is on fire. <laughs> and I took the initiative to get dressed to go to the gym after work and rode right by it and came home. 
And now I'm in the bed. <sighs> but like here I am thinking about like my own woes. And you never know what someone else is going through. Like right now, like I just can't believe and understand how someone's job can say that, you know. If anyone out there knows the laws about FMLA, you know, please like inbox me or and things like that because this is this is crazy. If anything, you know, like I'm going through a lot of different things that I can't really you know, get into, you know, I got hurt at work and I can't do as much as I want to do and I'm not able to do my part-time job like I want to, so I'm lacking an income and, you know, I'm trying to get back up on my feet, you know, from my injury and it's hard, you know, I'm trying to maintain and stay on this weight loss journey and things like that but it's hard you know because like I'm a person that stress eats and when I get stressed I eat and if you follow me on Facebook yes I did put some profound words on there last night because I was mad about the situations that I was put in yesterday, you know, due to me getting hurt at work. And it's just like, that's just how I felt at the time. But like nothing was going my way yesterday. And to sit here and talk to my friend, my woes can't top her woes so you know this is like I guess a ranting raving video and you know a video for people to be aware and to be respectful and mindful of others situations because you never know what someone else is going through down the street next door or right around the corner you know, if you guys are going through anything mentally, physically, emotionally, I'm praying for you. And I would hope that you would do the same thing for me. Be blessed. Peace.